As we welcome 2022, we wanted to get insight on what's in store for the city of Sacramento for the new year. Sacramento Mayor Daryl Steinberg joins us live with the latest. Welcome, Mayor Steinberg, and a belated Happy New Year to you. Related to you too, Desiree. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah, it's great to be with you. Yeah, we're excited to have you on. And Mayor Steinberg, what plans for the city are you excited to share with the Sacramento community? Well, so many plans. I mean, uh, 2022 is uh, about uh, the year of recovery. Look at, look at, we've been through two years of uh, some of the greatest challenges that any city, uh, and frankly, the entire country, uh, could possibly have imagined. But you know, we're coming through it strong. A lot of people have gotten uh, hurt along the way, but the economic recovery is happening. All the new housing that's going on in Sacramento, we're gonna break ground on, on Aggie Square, which is gonna create thousands of jobs in Southeast Sacramento, our collaboration with UC Davis and the private sector. Um, we, we are making great progress on the rail yards. We've got three new housing developments that are being built in the rail yards, a courthouse. And uh, we're still fighting uh, for our dream of Major League Soccer. Um, uh, of course, we're going to continue to focus on young people and making sure that we uh, have the funding to be able to uh, invest in their futures. And then, of course, uh, we are not going to give up on my belief that we can make this social condition, this homeless problem uh, better, not to cure it, um, but to make it better in Sacramento. And, you know, we just bought 102 acres of federal surplus land in South Sacramento that is going to be a safe place for people to park, potentially even to camp. Those are temporary solutions, of course, but I, I'm gonna fight as I always have for a cleaner and safer city and at the same time to care for people uh, who have fallen on the hardest of times. Yeah, I think that's fair. And you were speaking of the homeless community, Mayor Steinberg, and I understand a downtown hotel is being converted to homeless housing. Could you tell us a little bit more about that plan? Yes, well, it's one of three actually in the city of Sacramento with probably more to come. Um, the governor uh, has really done more on this issue than I think any governor in history. And, He's put forward billions of dollars what's called Project Home Key. And the idea is to convert uh, underutilized hotels and motels into permanent housing for the homeless. And so the city of Sacramento, through its housing authority, has applied for millions of dollars. And we've gotten them the dollars. And uh, in the downtown area, in the Natomas area, and South Sacramento, we are going to be converting uh, major hotels into permanent housing for the homeless is one of our key strategies in addition to uh, more shelter, more what we call manufactured homes or tiny homes, more safe ground for people. Um, you know, the idea here is, is complicated, but it's very simple. If we can create enough capacity, enough rooms, enough beds, uh, uh, enough roofs for people, then we can provide them with an alternative. And at the same time, we can say uh, to our business community that we're gonna clean up those commercial corridors uh, be, and have a place to actually move people. The thing that we cannot continue to do is play whack-a-mole where we are moving people from one part of the city to another. Not only is that not effective, it's also not fair or humane for people who um, are just looking for uh, a chance at a better life. And so I think 2022, I hope it's gonna be the year of breakthrough. The 102 acres is a big step. We're very close to negotiating a number of other sites. And then we have the motels that you talked about, Project Home Key, um, which uh, will provide uh, homes really for hundreds of people. Well, that's exciting to hear the action behind the plan. And can you also tell us how you're working towards making Sacramento the center of clean energy? Oh, my God. Well, we um, are in a collaboration with our municipal utilities district, SMUD, one of the finest public utilities in the country uh, and the private sector to build uh, a research and development center around clean energy. It's called the California Mobility Center. And the city intends to be a big part of this. Um, we Climate is a huge part of our agenda. Um, anybody who says it's about, well, 
creating jobs versus the climate, no. The two yeah. go together. Yeah. Um, we're we're going to build a, a clean energy economy here in Sacramento. Well, and the mobility center is a big part of it. Well, that's exciting. I wanted to ask you real quick, Mayor. We only got about 10 seconds, but everyone's making these new year, new you goals. Do you have a goal for 2022? Do I have a goal? <laughs> uh, my goal is to make sure that by the end of 2022, my city uh, feels like um, the recovery has happened. Yeah. Um, and that we are back among each other, uh, with each other, that our booming food scene is happening, the restaurants are open, people are out at our new convention center and our community center theater, that we see new building, new development, and that people feel like, man, we've been through the hardest of hard times, Yeah. but uh, we're on our way back. All right, Mayor, always a pleasure speaking to you. Happy we got to kick off the new year with you and to keep up to date with the mayor of the city of Sacramento, you can visit his blog at engagesac.org.